So our song is slow, so we should probably do a lot of figure skating moves. Figure skating? Yeah, like in the Winter Olympics. Why are you so shy? You're making me shy because, you know, you shouldn't be shy. You weren't like this before. I'm figure skating on land. You might have found the one thing that shuts me up. <laughs> okay, why don't we start like little sprouts that are just starting to grow and then we grow into beautiful flowers. I did that in my third grade um, ballet recital and you know it goes over really well. Uh, show me? Yeah. You want me to do that? Uh, look, I, it will be beautiful and haunting, I promise. And then um, maybe you could pick me up and, and twirl me around and make sure to look me in the eyes. Yeah, make it as goopy as possible. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, Oh, maybe we could uh, freestyle or something? Ah, uh, I thought you said you could dance. I can dance. Uh, you know, I was classically trained from the third thir major th three the other. You're going to embarrass me in front of all your friends, aren't you? No. And they're my brother's friends, not mine. Well, I'm your friend. Yeah. You are now. He has every right to be in there. Chris was his brother too. You weren't there, you don't know. Uh, I do know. And it wasn't right of you. I don't know why you think it's right, but the old you would never let them walk out on Christmas or oh, walk. Or do what you did to David. You told him that you would ruin him. Is it because you already did? I'm going to end this David conversation once and for all. You and David have broken up by now. Oh. It was fine for high school, but it would never have been. It's not for you to decide. And maybe we feel something that you never have. Well, I'll not trip you with some guy that knows you were really not working in his father's shop. You're yeah, 18. <laughs> when did you meet someone in medical school? You're planning on studying Oxford. How do you know you wouldn't meet someone there? Because don't you see? I've already met him. This notion you have about love is not serving you. You're too young to know that. Oh, too bad. I do know. I love David. He's the one. And you can't stop us from being together. You promised me you wouldn't do this. You'll throw your future in the trash for a man who's determined to rip you away from your family. You don't seriously believe that, do you? Because you're the one that's pushing me away. It's not David. It's always been you. You're very alive. I have to be in summer school in two hours. Oh, boo! I remember him. You, you do? Yeah, I was in eighth grade when he was a senior. He was good, I remember that. He was perfect. Especially now. Now that he's gone. My dad took it the hardest. He would never leave Chris's room, not even to lecture. I used to wake up in the middle of the night to hear him crying. Is that why you stayed with him? Everybody got tired. Oh, I, just, I just couldn't leave him alone. He's everywhere. Everywhere you look is a memory of Chris. Every nick, dent in the wood, marker on the wall, it's him. Sometimes uh, I think this house just keeps us from living. I want you to like my dad, David. Do you like him? Sure, and I like you, Mom. No, I, I want you to like my dad. Everybody likes my mom. Well, I do. I really do. 